Hey folks, what's Welcome back to another Palm Master video, and today let's uh, talk a bit about Bruno and Onyx, which is dropping later tonight. As usual, we will be pulling for live, so make sure I'll tune into that uh, last last new unit of, of this month, right? So, uh, okay, uh, so all right, what's what's the you know what's what's the deal with Bruno and Onyx? Well, uh, you guys could refer to my <laughs> Lorelai and Lapras video, and you get like the basic gist of it, right? Um, okay, joke aside, there are like some differences. Uh, but like in general what they do is the same ish right the, you know they it's just they have different rates of doing certain things right you know um uh Lorelai does some things more efficiently Bruno does other things more efficiently but in general they kind of do the same thing so <laughs> anyways let's uh, let's let's get into that so uh yeah again Bruno just like Lorelai a good physical defensive tank over here right you know plus six physical defense uh in one trade move uh, for a team, right, and then uh, for Lorelai, it's uh, it's easier to max out physical attack for a team. For Bruno, it's easier to max out crit for a team, and yeah, he you know um, max crit, but like plus two physical attack here instead for the trade off, right? And then there's also um, he also gets physical move up next as well uh, on the trainer move instead of after sync, right? So Lorelai, you have to sync. Bruno, it's just on the trainer move, and then you also have an easier chance of debuffing the opponents, or easier chance, but like more more efficient uh, debuffing of the opponents, or I guess less RNG, right? I mean, if you get really really good RNG on Lorelai, that's like minus five one turn, but uh, again, you know, generally that's not happening too often. Uh, but yeah, you just have a more reliable, you know, debuff over here with like Screech and. Yeah, it's also tied with like, you know, a lot of things as well, which we'll talk about. And then I got one gauge spam with rock throw. And yeah, I got endurance for, for himself. Speed boss for your team, right? Um, you know, every time you, you, you get hit, guaranteed speed buff for your entire team. So yeah, that's also one thing I like about Bruno more than Lorelai, because like, uh, we saw with Lorelai in terms of, you know, you want to get the speed buffs, right, with Fleet Feet. Um, or not Fleet Feet, Pep Rally, right? Uh, but it's just a bit more awkward just because you're just missing out on turns where you could just get gauges back instead, right? Uh, I mean, you want to buff the physical attack anyways, but uh, it's, it, you know, it's just a bit, it's a bit, bit of an awkward balancing act. And over here, it's just kind of automatic as long as the opponents are attacking you. And then Sterner Soft reduced more physical damage, even though, again, he's already a really good physical tank anyways. So yeah, that's the that's the base kit, right? And then in terms of if you want to go for copies, right? How many you want to go for? Uh, I'd say his one out of five. I like his one out of five a lot more than Lorelai's. I feel like he's like at one out of five, he's just more complete of a unit, right? In comparison, obviously not fully complete because you know you're missing stuff from the uh, grid. Uh, two out of five, yeah, like it's by definition not complete. But you know, I, I feel like you could bas just basically use him out of the box. Uh, but at two out of five. Do get some stuff. Got team speedy entry, which is nice. But again, eh, this is like that big of a deal, right? Uh, it's faster, which is good. But yeah, uh, and then I got pep rally here, and the same thing with team speedy entry, right? Natural remedy, quick cure, always good. Electric guard is is nice, right? Just versus electric specific <laughs> enemies, right? But yeah, I'd say like overall, his two out of um, his, his, his two out of five is, is not that big of a deal, right? In comparison to like Lorelai, Lorelai, like oh, two out of five, you get like a big boost over there and and bruno is just you don't get too much at two out of five just because like his one out of five is already just pretty solid right so yeah three out of five you get stuff like team mighty sync just for an extra physical move up next so yeah uh so on top of the one lorelai gets he also gets you know the the one on the train move so he gets two in comparison to one and then you have uh screech charging affliction which is really really nice because um that's where you get the move gauge back in comparison to the lorelei one uh sync damage guard instead of initial synchro healing uh i do like initial synchro healing better i do like initial synchro healing better and then you have flag bear nine on rock throw if you want to you know max out or or further buff your team's uh, physical attack beyond just plus two right uh, or you could just MPR and hope it happens on that one MP. <laughs> yeah, you got similar things. And then you have Adrenaline, right? Which is just always really, really um, nice for, for Master Mode. Uh, just so you get extra sync before the opponent gets one in, right? Uh, then Team Hit and Heal, which is, you know, gradually healing all this stuff. Like, again, just a lot of just d same stuff as Lorelai, right? And uh, 3 out of 5, I'd say, is, is, you know, definitely got some some really really nice things in here right especially uh just like the 6rex support um right if you have them ex you get that extra 
uh, on sync stuff, right? Damage guard, adrenaline, mighty sync nine, etc. And then the gauges, yeah. So three out of five, good. Two out of five, kind of whatever. And then one out of five, good. So uh, okay. As for any like lucky skills, it's basically the same as Lorelai, I guess, except like. Lorelai does have Vigilance on the grid, so you can maybe not opt for that. Uh, but you could also, like, I, I rolled Vigilance on my Lorelai, right? I just feel like it's more efficient uh, to spend that energy elsewhere. Uh, but yeah, for Bruno, you know, just usual support, roll Vigilance, and again, all the other stuff that we said about Lorelai applies here. Like, you know, if you want, uh, uh, like, healthy healing, if you want another adrenaline <laughs> head start whatever right uh status immunity all that stuff again supports uh, you could really just switch lucky skills depending on what you're facing uh, especially in you know if you're doing gauntlet runs right you could do really specific ones uh but yeah okay as for the sync grid let's start at uh, one out of five one out of five uh, again you could probably pick up everything if you wanted but otherwise uh you could go for that npr i mean is it a good chance of it happening? No, but I mean, like, you don't have much anyway, so like, why not? Yeah, you can pick up basically just everything that you need, right? Minus any of the, like, power-ups from Rock Throw. I guess you could pick up Axie, right? If running Sand Sand Shoulder, but anyways, all right. Two out of five. Two out of five, we have, uh, again, not too many options, so I'd say, like, maybe Team Speedy Entry, right? You could go for definitely want natural remedy and quick here because these these two are, are, are the best ones here if you're fighting electric uh enemy you go for electric guard if not you know probably not uh otherwise you go for those these defense plus 20 nodes i guess right if you want that could you know obviously help defensively right that's it's literally like a defense plus node right uh or or you could also uh, unbending if there's any stage that debuffs defense, uh, or you could just go for the pep rally as well, just for the, the again the faster speed buffs because you'll still get the speed buffs eventually, right? And then maybe you could pick up another just this NPR on the training move if you want, but otherwise you could just pick up some stat nodes or again stuff like just it, like it really depends, all right? So all right, um, third to five, third to five. So, a few, a few ways you could go about this. I'd say if you're fighting something like Mass Mode and you have them like EX, right? So, I'd say something like Team Mighty Sync and Adrenaline are the two uh, you kind of want to aim for. You could probably go for Team Speed Entry because, again, Mass Mode is a bit faster, right? So, you just get these uh, off the bat. And... Uh, you can go for sync damage guard if the if the stage you're fighting is is you know is just gonna do a lot of damage. So you just want at least to survive like one or two more hits. I'd say probably two two hits, right after after you sync, right? Just so you get like another sync in there, and that probably would end the stage. Uh, but otherwise, uh, it's. Yeah, again, it really depends, right? Are you facing electric enemies, right? Are you, do you need gauges? If you need gauges, you want um, you probably want the charging infliction over here, right? Uh, unfortunately, if you do pick that up, I'd say, uh, yeah, yeah, you, you can't you can't pick up both of these, um, so you probably have to drop one. Uh, it depends, right? It depends if you have like if 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 you don't worry about getting a second sink in, then you know you can drop adrenaline. Um, just want to do a bit more damage right because i mean it's a balancing act right it's either you do more damage on one of your regular moves or you get a second sink in there i'd say just getting a second sink in there is probably more it's it's a safer option right uh but yeah again both of ours the uh, both of those are are, are fine and, and you know that works right uh if you do need the flag bearer you could also you know obviously pick a flag bearer um uh, but otherwise i mean i don't really care too much about like a lot of like this other stuff right it's just really uh yeah just uh just pending again stage who you're running with if you have enough gauges i'd say probably not like he does have the team speed buffs and all but like his base speed is still pretty slow Right, so I'd say uh, charging infliction is, is just going to be really, really nice. But uh, maybe in a shorter master mode stage where you pick up a lot of like strength and stuff, right? Like you could, like, yeah, you could just maybe just go for like these two. Uh, if you're doing like gauntlet, you definitely want this, right? And and again, just for, versus gauntlet, just really okay, <laughs> right? Who are you facing? Chrysalia, not her remedy, right? If you're facing, um, uh, I. I I don't know, uh, whoever else, uh, again, uh, I mean, you're probably gonna pick up quicker anyways, just cause it's in the path, right? Uh, if you, if you 
it's, it's uh, you know, you're, you're on a uh, team that, or, or um, no, no, I can't speak anymore. What am I doing? Unbending, right? For those defense debuffing, you know, stages, like uh, like Nazoff, like uh, whoever else. Who? Who's the other? Was it the Tracheon the recent one? Um, but yeah, or you could just go for just your regular move gate refresh. Your move gate refresh is uh, very underrated in in in, uh, in in Gauntlet, right? And there's also you know, whichever defense, depending on what stage you're going up against, you could pick up just extra defenses as well, right? So again, for for mass mode, just a lot of oh, team hidden heal is a good one for mass mode as well, right? Uh, almost forgot about that one. So yeah, you could go for something like that um, as well, right? If it's special stage, you can pick this extra special defense up or sync damage guard. If it's one of those stages that has like really, really hard hitting moves earlier on in the battle, right? All right, going into some pros and cons. Uh, pros, I mean, again, it's mostly the same like Lapras. Like it's it's a good physical tank, right? You know, it's good physical support as well, right? It's, it's good the, the defense uh, debuffs. Uh, I mean, like, like honestly, especially if you do have a map throughout a five, right? Like every single time you use Screech, it's not just okay. You're getting the buffs. You're also getting like two gauges back, right? And it's minus two guaranteed. And that, yeah, the, the 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 Screech with the charging affliction is just really really nice. Uh, it's good mass mode unit, uh, especially you know, with the. the stuff like adrenaline team mighty sync all that stuff and uh, yeah the team speed buffs is there as well as for some cons uh, he's just an average special defensive tank right he doesn't really have much other than just a you know, decent um, special defensive stat and, and HP stat right and just slow physical attack buffs right in comparison to, to Lorelei it's you only get plus two uh, initially and if you want to get more it's just flag bear on like rock throw, which is kind of yeah, right. And then uh, variety scout because variety scouts are uh, they don't really have much of a point. <laughs> there's no ex outfit. There's no sing fear story. There's no whatever. Right? It's just uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a variety scout. That is a con. It's definitely a con. All right. So overall, uh, I mean, it's 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 Lorelei, but more reliable, right? Uh, it's a, especially on the debuffing part, and you know, units like these are really really good because uh, it's you know again unlike some supports, right? After you're done buffing and whatever, right? A lot of supports, again, they just sit there and, and they're just a cone, and and he's he's definitely not a cone, right? You can just spam Screech, which even even. If you are done debuffing opponents like physical defense, uh, you know you could just, you keep on using it. You could just go switch the sides and you know just get gauges back. Even even if you're just getting just 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 to get gauges back, right? Uh, so yeah, that's that part's really really good. And uh, yeah, I don't know. You guys saw Lorelai. <laughs> He's basically that except minus the RNG, right? And. Yeah, uh, small differences here and there, but but not. I don't think any of those are really significant enough. So, anyways, uh, overall, I'd mean, I, score wise, I'd probably just give it like point one more than uh, Lorelai, just because I, I feel like um again, just same things uh, apply, right? Uh, they're they're all they're both they're both really 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 solid supports, right? It's just that uh, again, just uh, un uh, uninteresting. Right. Uh, also, still, they're also like not anything crazy. Like they're good. They're good. They're definitely good. But again, nothing insane. And yeah, there's just more other seasonals going on. And also, if you guys, you know, care as well, this next month we're. Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what comes next month, right? Because uh, we're we're getting close. We're getting close, right? So uh, even if you really want them, you know, you could. Just, chill for now and just see what's uh, what's what's going on first before you spend all the gems and yeah yeah that's 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 bruno i guess right so anyways that's me this one hope y'all are gonna guys think of the comments below i enjoy the videos more channel some more palm as content again tune in later tonight for these polls hopefully uh you know we end this uh this month on a high note and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one then